Mark, if you will. Oh my God, Mark! Really? Shit. You had one job. Shit. You had one Shit. fucking Shit. job. How could it fail so epic hard? Really sucked. This This movie movie just really was bad. How could it be? It looks so promising. Overture kick in here. I haven't heard this in a while. We're padding time. You maybe should have started a little closer to that now. Because the opening is fucking awesome. Yes. But what everyone usually goes is that bum 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 part. Point being. Don't worry. We're just gonna keep this thing on. While. How could it be? It was a king so good. This really sucked. This was really bad. Oh, so bad. Okay, now that that stupidness is over. All right, look, I'm going to lay this out right now. We saw King I'm Arthur. probably not going to say a whole shit ton, <laughs> um, just because, <coughs> honestly, he's cu- he's this a little movie in- just pissed me off. He's infuriated. It was bad. It The Arthurian legend, there's a lot of wiggle room, because it started off wiggle, wiggle. with... It was word of mouth. It was word of mouth. So it changed and hand And it hand. didn't get written down until very much later. And there's the classic version of the story that was written by uh, William no something or another. Uh, um, he wrote the classic version that usually you can pick up a book of in the store. Yep. Um, but there is a lot of wiggle room and interpretation and everything else. It's fun. This <laughs> add in the face of all of that and was just bullshit. It was really dumb. Like, I... <laughs> It ripped off Skyrim. It ripped off yeah. Lord of the Rings. It ripped off Vikings. It ripped off Game of Thrones. Um, and then just to add a little guy. It Richardson. ripped off. Oh, Clash of the Titans. Yeah. Um, the new one, not the old one. It probably ripped off some other shit that I can't even think of. Like a lot of like the big fantasy movies. It just ripped them off. Really, it it was just bad. And here's the thing: we, we, I, we, I would say we were both all for an, an inter- a different interpretation of the Arthurian legend because it's one of those things you can reinterpret over and over again. And the concept that they clearly were going for in the movie is an interesting concept where he was not born a king. He had to. He was born. He basically, well, he was born royalty, but he had to live yeah. on the streets and all that. It's a good concept. And starting off, I'm going to go into positives because it's not going to be a lot of those. Most of the actors I thought did fine. I thought Charlie Hunnam was actually pretty good in the movie for what it was worth. Yeah. Uh, Diamond Hans, who played Benavere, and Benavere, and he was pretty good. Um, actor who plays a little finger. I can't remember his name. Yeah. Game of Thrones. He was fine. Most of the main cast is fine. Jude Law walked the line, but which one was Jude Law? The villain. Shit, dude. I didn't. Know. <laughs> <laughs> the movie was boring. Yeah, uh, but go um, on with your positives. Yeah, um, most of the effects work was good. The action sequences were, were actually pretty good. 
I will say this. Hmm? For about two-thirds of the movie, a little bit more, the soundtrack was actually... Oh, well, yeah, that had a great soundtrack. In the end? The end part, not so much. Uh, yeah, because it opens up, and it, it, actually, like, the first 15 minutes, 20 minutes of this was actually pretty good. Like, uh, I mean, we got, um, it was, I thought it was Clive Owens. I was Eric going Donna. to believe some of it. Yeah, like, it, so magic is this, that's fine. You know, Jude Law clearly is the evil one. He kills his wife and his daughter just for fucking power. Like, magic power. It turns him into super Spartan death machine, whatever that did. He Ooh. looked like an evil version of the Spartans from three. With, like, with if a, you took the Spartans from 300 bulked them and up. put them in Dark Souls... They moved. Kind of looked He like had a that. double bladed axe and or triple. No, that was a scythe. scythe. Sorry, ask scythe. Yeah, but I'm like, but then we open. I'm like, elephants come. So I lean over to the powers that be, and I'm like, at Mr. Frodo, elephants. Like, yeah. Which he oh. didn't know at the time. <laughs> he didn't know how. Uh, what's the term I'm looking for? Prophesizing. Oh. Prophetic. Prophet. Uh, yeah. That was. Because one of the next scenes we see is the fucking eye of oh, sorrow. God Almighty! See, here's the thing: in Pacific Rim, when we got that very just a, like a a nod to it, Guillermo del Toro was supposed to do actually the Hobbit series, and at the end of Pacific Rim, when they throw the yet, um, believe it or not, wait for it. When they, when he's gonna basically blow, when basically Gypsy Danger is about to blow up, if you look behind Gypsy Danger, there's this giant glowing eye-looking thing. That is a nod. That is a little subtle nod to everyone who was watching that movie. The Guillermo was supposed to do the Hobbit movies. I swear to God, that is true. Um, that would have been a weird it would, fucking oh, that, series of Hobbit movies. I would have watched but probably the hell would have been a out bit of those. better. I mean, I like just Hobbits, because but. then. <laughs> You will have gotten more practical effects. Can you imagine how some of those characters would have looked in those movies? Um, um anyway. Um, talk about better movies. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I liked in a movie. Um, oh, oh, when he was doing the Guy Ritchie thing for, like, when he, like, when the... the Guy pro- Ritchie is able to do Guy Ritchie. Yeah, when he's doing, like, the whole explaining the events prior, Even it was though pretty okay. It was really inappropriate and jarring yeah, it was. for this movie. Because... If Guy Ritchie was going to do, say, put that up there, um, like a uh, maybe Robin Hood style movie, or you know, like a Prince of Thieves style movie, he I could have seen that. Oh, I could have seen that. Because Guy Ritchie, Absolutely. I'd watch that. Does two types of movies really well: heist and, and mystery. Yep. Because of all of, like the. Explaining <coughs> camera angles, everything else, which really doesn't work for a movie that's supposed to be about knights and armor and, and fighting of dragons and magics. And, which uh, there was not a single fucking dragon in this movie either. You know what? I there also what you also know what else wasn't <coughs> in this movie that would have completely made an A plus. There was no coconuts and there was no European or African swallows. All right, look, I am disappointed in this. If we're going to start talking about better King Arthur movies, <laughs> I would like to point out that the song we opened with, O Fortuna, is actually from one of my favorite King Arthur movies. Was that movies. Excalibur? Yes, mm. that's from Excalibur. Oh, right on. I'm also a fan of Merlin. Mm. Um... Oh shit! There have been several. And, uh, let's be clear. Holy Guinevere, Grail, Guinevere, from what I remember. Holy Grail, if we're gonna get in for commies or whatever. Um, shit, dude, I would have to look at. There's this. a lot. There's been a lot of King Arthur movies. I've watched a lot of them, <clears throat> and most of them I'm are better than this. I'm a fan of a lot of the mythos because when I was a little kid, I thought that was awesome. It, yeah, it's cool stuff. But um, this this feels like it should have been. <clears throat> Guy Ritchie presents Skyrim. Rise of the Dragonborn. But here's the thing. It's something you said going up because I can't think of any other positives. Um, you hit the nail on the head when you said something about explaining. This movie is about two hours long. Not only is it boring through about two thirds of the movie, it is just dull. Because it's basically. And not doing anything. King Arthur is trying to do a heist now. Basically. For a whole country. And it doesn't explain shit. 
It doesn't explain how magic even works in this universe, let alone let alone the Excalibur's well, vague abilities. Also, the only real magic we see is I'm going to throw a fireball, and I'm going to turn into I'm a, going a Dark Souls to... Spartan. That, we don't even see that happen. Well, we see him turn back, so it's yeah. magic. Excalibur's but weird I won't, abilities. But I'm not getting into Excalibur yet. All right, but no, all. I mean like actual magic okay. users. We see animal fireballs and animal manipulation. Which, Those are the main two which, we really see in depth. Okay. To go into the actor, who I, the the female actress in this, I just the, played the mage. Was, oh, who I thought she was actually going to turn out to be Guinevere. I don't think they ever gave her a name. I, I have no idea. Uh, she, Though I will say, on that note, that freaking... Uh, the mage, I can't tell if she's just from a foreign country and oh, that's the just has a really thick accent, which actually <coughs> sound at times. It was hard. Me is thinking it's a forced accent that she really can't do very well. It's, but somebody was telling her do this accent. It's either a forced accent or a forced English. I'm leaning towards the forced English. She did not look like she was having an easy time talking. Like she it was, and since she was adding this talk in English, if they were get, having her use whatever her tongue, any tongue might be, maybe it would come off better. But no, I, she was just <clears throat> awful. But here's the thing: she manipulates animals. She she has an eagle. She can manipulate a sna She can manipulate uh, birds, other animals. At, at one point, uh, near the end of the movie, Arthur comes in. He's like, I surrender myself. He's out of story. He's about to be killed. She throws a snake at Jude Law. She was like, ha ha, I killed the snake. Oh no, the sword is stuck in the, uh, in the pillar. I'm like, ha, you clever. I'm like, ah, clever. But all of a sudden we hear this sound and the fuck off snake from Conan the Destroyer comes in and starts killing fuckers. I'm like, why weren't you using that? Also, we didn't get Morgan. No, no, we did not. Or we didn't get Merlin, I thought. No, Morgan Le Fay. Oh, no, no, you're right. We didn't get no. Merlin. No. Maybe that's who she is. No, mm. she's not. No, they were hinting at it by calling Uther's oh. brother's wife Lady Le Fay. Oh, I, did, I didn't so hear that part. So she was supposed... I think it was so So his bit. daughter was supposed to be Morgan Le Fay? Well, nope. We just killed Morgan Le Fay. No. Fuck it. I just, the movie just doesn't explain shit. Like, oh, we're going to the Badlands. Where are the Badlands? No, we're going to send you there. You won't survive. No, but what are the Badlands? And no, there's, apparently there's lots of big, nasty monsters in the Badlands. Uh, the powers that be are currently standing outside yeah. my windshield and also exclaiming how the movie kind of sucks. Oh, God. And this movie had so, the trailers looked cool. The, the, it opened with Zeppelin and one, which I thought that song worked in the trailer personally. Yeah, but honestly, I could tell when it opened with Zeppelin. I was hoping it wouldn't be. But when it opened with Zeppelin, I'm like, oh, God. They're going to do the thing <coughs> where they try and modernize it and make it cool. For the most... And that's and what for, they And did. for what it's worth, it didn't... It, it did feel modernized, but it didn't feel like... Overly modernized, modernized. Well, they don't explain why there are so many cultures. Nope. In one area. No, nope, because we got African. Which I could explain <laughs> the. I. <coughs> I can accept the African dude. Okay, I can accept. Yeah, Demon Hunter, I can accept that. But the the Asian dude, <laughs> Buddhist monk temple, for lack of a better word. Yeah. In Rome. By the way, yeah, because apparently Rome is right, right next door, right down the street, England. I need a cup of sugar. I'm going to Rome and uh, Linden in Linden or Lindon. Oh, whatever. I How are they pronounced London? I I, I, don't. I don't know, and I kind of don't care. <laughs> this this movie hurt me. Uh, we gotta go. We because uh, all right. Let's just get to trailers. We gotta talk about one last thing though. Excalibur and all its bullshit. No. Okay. All right, look. It has the powers of every shout in Skyrim. <laughs> and apparently, if you're the one wielding it, and you throw it up in the air, and it lands in you, you turn into a fucking rock. But magic, so whatever. No explanation. 
That, ain't, that rock, well, of course, that rock was whatever. I'm not going to explain. Uh, Annabelle 2. I don't, didn't see Annabelle 1. I'm probably not going to see this. this, this yeah. Oh, yeah. Cause Actually, it's a prequel, technically. It showed up in, what was it, The Conjuring? It showed up first in The Conjuring, then they gave it a, they gave its own movie. This is actually, from what I understand, a prequel detailing the actual origin of the doll. Okay, so this is a prequel to the prequel. Prequel to the prequel, indeed. Because we're going into an exceptional the first shit Annabelle here. was a prequel to The Conjuring. Yep. Uh, yeah, right, next one. I, I don't care. Uh, Dunkirk, that looks good. Yeah. Uh, Atomic Blonde, another one that looks good. Yep. Uh, Dark Tower, I'm interested. Um, I never read the book. I know it's a long fucking series of books. Well, first of all, it's Stephen King, so it's probably about as <coughs> thick as, you know... Actually, from what I understand, because it's a series, the actual, the individual books actually, for Stephen King purposes aren't as thick as the other Stephen King's books. Oh, so they're only 800 pages. Something like that, yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, no, it'll, nothing else. Matthew McConaughey and Idris Elba look awesome. Yeah. Uh, Kingsman 2, The Golden Circle. That does look cool. Yep. Um, I wrote down the... Oh, the fucking... The Tulip Fever? Period piece with good actors in it. Um, oh, and the Hitman's Bodyguard. That looks good. Yeah. Uh, um, oh, God. It's, again... I think I said this outside in the lobby. It's not the worst film I think either of us have seen this year. We saw we had to sit the rings, <laughs> dude. No, I no 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 no. You're pissed no, off at this I'm movie more than you honest, are at rings. Man. Rings, I could get a level of entertainment out of it. Rings did. I know there's a pun here. Rings didn't suck the life out of me. <laughs> Uh, this did. The daddy needs a beer after this movie. This uh, just. I don't bad. know. I I don't think it's that bad. You you have more of an attachment to the Arthurian lore than I do, which is probably why you're more pissed off. I it was boring too. No, don't get. I'm not like, arguing that, but I'm saying I was able to get enough enjoyment out of the things that were good. That it doesn't it doesn't fall like into a number one out of ten spot for me. It's not the worst thing out of the year. For unless me. they're gonna come out with Aragon two. Or Dragon Ball yeah. 2 this year. Um, um, right now, this is definitely sitting at my worst spot. I'm trying to think. What, I mean, we got a lot of shit coming out. I don't know. We'll probably have something coming out this year that's worse. Uh, well, I mean, we got a whole year to go through. Um, I would probably only give it like a 3, maybe a 4 at best. It's 1.5 to 2. If, if you're curious, save it for at home, Netflix, something like that. You know what? That... I could see that. I could see this being like a high production sci-fi channel movie. That you're right. I could have saw that too. Or yeah. you know, something you just watch. I don't know. But point being, crap. yeah, it's ugh, it, it's this was not good. Uh, so next week is fuck. I think it's Alien Covenant or it's Baywatch. One of the two. But no, no, no. It's Alien Covenant next week. That's right. So Alien Covenant. That should. I don't know how it could be much worse than this one, but we'll find out. Anyway, have a good night, folks. Later.